Ashley and in today's video I'm not a dermatologist but I did used to have bad skin and now I have a lot better of skin actually I hardly ever get breakouts anymore to give you guys a little background about my skin I used to have hella bad acne when I was growing up and like going through high school and everything also I was like using proactive which I just don't recommend <laughs> at all but um, I don't know I was using like a lot of chemicals back in the day that I think were making my skin rely on all of those chemicals and then just causing me to break out a lot more but I think I've finally realized that less is more a hundred percent less is more I try to like not use too much stuff on my face and use a lot of more like natural ingredients at least when I can I do use like a lot of like little sample stuff because I love trying new things I do have very oily skin so that's one of my main concerns which I see a lot of youtubers just having dry skin which is not helpful for me at all like I really just have to do my own research and kind of do trial and error with like stuff that doesn't work or does work so if you guys have oily skin that just like loves to break out all the time maybe this can help you i'm not saying that i'm a dermatologist i don't have a license for any of these things this is just what works for me this is what i love also this is not my every single day routine this is more like a deep cleansing routine when i want to like take care of myself for once no honestly like you know like those days when you have like a good like hour or two hours like honestly too much time on your hands and you're like i just want to like give myself like a spa day like a get better day that's the this routine also the beginning half of this is like what I would regularly do but I am gonna do like face masks and stuff which I just don't have time for normally uh, a lot of the time if you know I like have a long night and I'm like drinking or whatever then I'll usually just like makeup wipe and then like fall asleep and like that's that on that which I really don't recommend but you know gotta do what you gotta do I also have new makeup wipes which is kind of fun that I'm kind of loving recently but yeah most of these products I have been using for quite some time um, I'll tell you if they're like newer I also, not even gonna lie, I just did my makeup to film this video because like usually when I have a skincare routine to do, it's because I'm taking makeup off of my face. So I just did my makeup and now I'm literally gonna be like, okay, first step, take off my makeup, which is so frustrating. And honestly, not even gonna lie, 99% of the time I would normally keep on my eyebrows and eyelashes and take off everything but those things and like just really just stretch my eyebrows and eyelashes like for as many days as I can. I'll literally keep on my same pair of lashes on for like three days. Sorry, like the glue is like trying to keep my eye closed. But yeah, you guys, I actually have like really, really good skin. There's like no breakouts right now, knock on wood. Also, like I said, I'm such a like products person. I literally try everything. Like my whole entire shower is just filled with everything ever. And I just have so many storage containers in my room just full of all these products. But these are my favorite ones that I've been using, that I've been loving. First things first, let's just take off our makeup. Okay, so honestly, one of the first things that I do, which is kind of like life-changing, honestly, I've never had one of these before, is put like a little headband on. I have this cute one with the ears, which would like match my outfit a little bit more, but I'm just gonna use the pink one so I don't look like a dumbass with like little ears in my face. So, face, head, hello. So, um, my mom actually got me this for Christmas. Thanks, mom. But I honestly have bought like so many of these from like Marshall. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Marshalls, I think. Marshalls and like TJ Maxx has like so many of these. I highly recommend getting one of these, especially if you wash your face every day. <laughs> but I'm gonna put this on to make my life a lot easier. This is not sexy, but you know what? Skincare is not sexy, so we're just gonna go with it. All right, so first things first, I use this little Dermalogica deep cleanse oil stuff that just melts everything off of your face. So I'm just gonna put a couple pumps in my hand. I'm like, already, this shit's like melting, watch, I'll show you. So you see this eyebrow? In like seconds. Oh, she's so gone. <gasps> she's so gone. It's now you guys know how many eyebrows the hairs I don't have. I literally feel like you guys know that like scandal that Shay Mitchell had where she was like taking her makeup off with a makeup wipe and she goes like this like full eye makeup and then like slides it away but like isn't touching her face at all and she got like a lot of hate for it.
even waterproof mascara and leaves my skin feeling so fresh and so that's how i feel with this stuff but it actually works <laughs> literally everything is just melted off also i just want to point out a lot of skincare also has to do with like your makeup routine like if you're using a lot of like bad cheapy products like obviously it's gonna break you out and that is another reason why i probably have really really bad acne growing up because like i lived with my dad and my dad didn't really understand makeup he's like i'm not gonna take you to sephora like what the hell i'm gonna take you to rite aid and we're gonna pick out a couple of makeup items from the drugstore you have 50 bucks ready to go <laughs> so if you're like me and like maybe don't have like the most money then definitely try to like save up your money and like get a few good products makeup wise and skincare wise because it all kind of goes hand in hand with like acne if you have acne prone skin just saying okay so i don't want to take off my eyelashes what if i just don't I think I can like just not. Yeah, I'm just not going to. But if I were to take them off, I would just like literally rub right there and they would literally melt off. They might melt off in the process. So if they come off, they're coming off. I can honestly sleep with them tonight, you know? I'm not gonna lie to you guys. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna take one of these makeup wipes. My hands are so disgusting and oily right now. So first off, I'm just gonna clean my hands with this. Uh, these are the Dickinson's Original Witch Hazel Wipes. And these are actually new to me at least because I don't know. I feel like I'm always just trying new makeup wipes. The last ones that I got, like were the Pond's makeup wipes and I really really like them because they didn't like leave my skin feeling like oily or anything like some of the Neutrogena ones do and stuff like oh oh honey if you want oily skin like go for it but those Neutrogena ones are not for me they also burn my face which so do these but it's a different type of burn if you guys use witch hazel which you should um it's very like deep cleansing and like gets all of the shit out of your pores which I highly recommend you know but yeah basically these makeup wipes are by the witch hazel brand that I use and honestly it just kind of feels like a wipe full of witch hazel which which honestly kind of burns the face, but it also makes it feel like it's cleaning it. So I don't know, yeah, I don't really have bad reactions to witch hazel at all, other than like it makes my face red for a couple of seconds. Yeah, I've kind of been really, really, really loving these face wipes. Okay, not gonna lie, my face feels squeaky clean from these wipes. Uh, 10 out of 10 would recommend these wipes. So now we're gonna go into my face scrub to kind of open up my pores and let everything get sucked out of them, because I am gonna do some extreme extractions today even if you're not gonna like do any extractions i really really like this little combo that i have just to like kind of like get all the gunk out of your pores at least as much as you can okay so i do this weird combo don't know why i don't know how it started i was just in the shower board one day like combining things together so this first thing is the intelligent nutrients plant stem cell science refining micro polish <laughs> it's a lot, but um, I got this in my FabFitFun box and oh honey, this is it. So I've been using this for, I don't even know, like four months now-ish, give or take. And I'm obsessed with it. So I kind of take some of this and just squeeze a little bit on my hand. And then I take some of this Dermalogica Daily Micro exfoliant but yeah basically this is like rice based powder which i mean like if it's edible it's literally like made from rice and like that's pretty much it i kind of just put some of this on there and it's just like a light little extra exfoliant because like this already has some exfoliant in it but i want some more when my face is like full of makeup or like it's been like a long day i put this combo together and like my skin is clear okay i'm sorry that it wants to like focus on the background the entire time <laughs> i don't know what to do okay so i'm like mind blowing really revolutionary i wash my face with it honestly i could add some water but i'm just so far away <sighs> okay i try to scrub for like at least a minute because like that's what it says you're supposed to do but sometimes if i'm just rushing i'm just like okay get it off okay now that this is all rubbed in and my face is kind of red and it's been like a whole minute i'm gonna go wash it off and brb okay already i feel like a new woman the texture of my skin right now is so buttery and like so smooth i'm not even kidding not even saying this like that combo already it just hits different you know so i'm gonna try to pat my skin as much as i can honestly no i feel like i'm pretty good at patting my face and not like wiping your face because you don't want wrinkles you know um Oh, and also I do bring as much as I can down on my neck, like with pretty much all of my skincare, because obviously we like, you know, us makeup gurus <laughs> lend our foundation all the way down to our chest half the time. So I do try to like do as much of the skincare all the way down as much as I can, especially in the shower. I'm like <laughs> really going at it. So now I'm going to tone my face with what I was talking about before, this little witch hazel pore perfecting toner. And then I just go ahead and take it on a little cotton round. I sound like such a grandma when i say that but like i use a cotton round okay just take a little bit of this and gently wipe my face my skin feels so good right now it really really needed this
this to be honest so the witch hazel basically gets all of the, the leftover like any leftover makeup that could have been on your face and dirt and oils whatever it gets all of that off if i'm going to be doing extractions like today because it kind of gets all of the oil out of your face so it makes it a lot less hard when you're trying to like you know like get in there with your oily little paws okay so once this is all done and done now i'm gonna take the fun part now that we did our toner and got all the oils out of my face i kind of want to reopen up all the pores so i can suck them out of my face <laughs> so i do use a little steamer vanity planet actually sent me this one it's really really amazing i don't know if they still sell it or what the deal is but i'll link it down below and by the way i will be linking all these items down below if i can find them for you i always say that but i actually mean it this time <laughs> honestly you don't want to get too close you don't want to burn your skin because steam does burn more than fire i think that's english i'm pretty sure i'm honestly gonna go do this for as long as i want and then i'll be back I've probably been doing this for like 10 minutes and I feel like I should stop but it's just like one of the most relaxing things ever moving on to the fun part if you're a person like me that used to be a pimple popper I definitely try not to pop pimples like at all unless they're like whiteheads usually if I have a whitehead I would take like two napkins with my fingers and just like really lightly press until it like hardly comes out I definitely do not press hard at all I'm not even saying that I think that's one of the biggest things to not get more acne and acne acne scars is not pressing really really hard to get all of the gunk out of your face because you will get acne scars and it will literally just cause more acne just try not to pop your pimples if you can that was one of the probably most life-changing things i ever did or stopped doing was popping the living crap out of my pimples that had a lot to do with why my skin is so clear now but i do think that you should get rid of blackheads also i need a mirror so <laughs> i'll be right back okay so now that i have my mirror <laughs> oh my god the light from my ceiling is reflecting onto my face that should have been here the whole time hello so now i take my new favorite thing which is this vanity planet personal microdermabrasion wand this thing is so sick it's like a little pimple sucker pretty much it basically like sucks away all of your dead skin cells and impurities so in a way it does help prevent acne and also reduce your chances of getting any breakouts because when you do have clogged pores aka blackheads a really bad blackhead can lead to like a whitehead so to prevent that i use this now this thing goes so hard i don't know if i can actually show it to you when you turn it on it has this cool little screen that shows you what setting it's on and everything and you can change the settings obviously by hitting the buttons and it shows you exactly which ways to go like if this were your cheeks you go left to right but yeah it has a really cool screen that tells you exactly what mode it's on for each thing and um so this one says cheeks so i usually it has different like heads it has this little one which is for like generally like normal use just all over your face or they have like a finer tip where you can like really get in and like suck your pores out that's the one that i personally like to use the most because it like if i'm doing it like get out of my face you know like i'm gonna use the small tip there's also one for like massaging and then there's also a bigger one for your body you know if you have a booting that wants to suck out your back knee you know <laughs> or vice versa ladies if you have a boyfriend i highly recommend this because it's a lot of fun i use this on my boyfriend and he honestly loves it too we probably have like use this for a lot longer than you're supposed to we really just like go in on our entire Entire face and suck all the crap out so I guess actually I'm gonna put the fine tip on because I have really really bad blackheads on my chin I don't know why it's really weird and not cute also I need to put a filter on they give you like a bag of these little filters and it's really fun to clean them out after and see all the shit that came out of your face for lack of a better way so if you guys do want some like acne ASMR I'll show you that after once we suck all the shit out of my face not that anyone's asking for it but I'll show you. Okay, you're probably not going to be able to see what I'm doing, so I might like speed it up. But I put mine on level three, the highest level, because, you know, if I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Yeah, I kind of just go for it. Oh, and by the way, if you guys use one of these things, you don't want to hold it on a certain spot for too long. Because, like, you can definitely get, like, a bruise from it. Like, if I hold it even for, like, a second too long on a spot, it kind of, like, makes my nose, like, turn red. You kind of want to be, like, not quick, but you don't want to, like, leave it on, like, one spot for, like, a given time. You definitely want to, like, keep going in, like, the certain, like, motions that it's telling you to go in. Like, this one says go down for your nose. These things are really cool cool because they can actually help with hyperpigmentation so this can kind of help even out your complexion and also helps with acne scars oh my god i actually have one on my nose right now 
This thing does suck out whiteheads too, which is honestly the best thing ever. So if you don't want to like pop your pimple, just put this on it on there for a couple of seconds and it sucks it right out. It's honestly like the best thing. And like honestly, you could be like a professional with it. Like when you go and get like a professional facial, they like do your whole face and like every single bit and then go little by little. But I'm just kind of like a target kind of a girl. You know, I go straight for the problem like that. Like get out of my face. Oh my God, it's so satisfying. Also, this is suitable for like all skin types. So you don't need to like have a certain type like you don't need oily skin to use this like this works on everyone's skin My friends use this too. Like literally everyone in my house absolutely loves this and I live with like eight people So this also promotes collagen production which helps to reduce fine lines and wrinkles Which I am all about the less Botox I have to get the better Let's try to be a little natural, you know Also the tips of these are made with like diamond encrusted heads, which is kind of iconic if you ask me Like yeah, I use diamond diamonds to clean my face. Okay, I'm gonna go do this probably for like another 10 minutes because I love to go ham and then uh, I will see you when I'm done. Okay, now that I've had way too much fun with this, um, it's time to the reveal. Also, by the way, this does not hurt at all to use. It literally just sucks your face. Ew, I don't even wanna show you, it's so nasty. <laughs> Oh my god, okay, so I'll show you and if not you can definitely skip ahead uh, this amount of seconds But okay, like this is all the shit that just came out. That is so hard to show you, but there's like a layer yeah that's enough and like honestly i didn't even do it for that long okay as i was saying before my camera rudely died on me um yeah i just kind of take the filter out and then i clean this whole section and this with some rubbing alcohol nothing crazy if you guys do want to get one of these personal microdermabrasion wands i will link a little link below in the description for you and you can get like 50 percent off with my code but yeah you guys can definitely check that out okay so moving on after i do all of that if it was like a really crazy Easy process where I had like a lot of acne I would probably like wash my face again with like just like a light easy cleanser like nothing crazy like Cetaphil or whatever but I feel like it wasn't too crazy of like an extraction experience today I'm gonna go ahead and use some toner and this does make my face very red okay so now I'm gonna use my face steamer again which if you guys don't have a face steamer you can obviously just like have a hot cup of boiling water and then like let the steam kind of get your face but I'll usually use this again just for like a minute to kind of open up my pores again so I can and fill them in with some good products now that all of the bad oils and stuff are sucked out of my face. Now we're gonna fill it up with some good stuff, you know what I mean? While I'm waiting for this to like heat up, Star Skin always sends me a lot of good sheet masks, which I was never really into sheet masks until they sent me their products. And every single one I've used so far has made me glow the next morning. So, which one should we use today? Red Carpet Ready. I've used this one before <laughs> for red carpet. Moisturizing Coconut. That kind of sounds great. Okay, I'm gonna put this on. Let me just do this for a minute and then I'll be back. Okay. Oh, it's a package in a package. Good. This is when I am treating myself. Also, I take the sheet mask out, set it down, and squeeze out all of these liquids on my hand and put them on my neck and keep them on my neck forever. Literally, all of this juice is so good. All this serum, I should say, is so good. Do not throw it away, rub it all over you. Your neck ages first, your neck and your hands or something like that. So do not forget about your neck and hands, girls. Also, I know this is really ghetto, but if you have a friend, boyfriend, whatever, and you're doing this face mask, so usually it comes with three layers. And before I was doing one of these sheet masks, my friend asked me, uh, I think it was like Amari or Tana, they were asking me if I had another one. And I was like, no, but you could use one of my layers and put that on as a face mask which totally works like this could totally be three sheet masks yeah they used it and they were like yep that worked perfectly thank you these honestly like never fit my face but i feel like the star skin ones are actually kind of okay let's see uh-huh and this is why i use my little headband thing that i have literally this is why all right so i'm gonna go leave this on for let's see 15 to 20 minutes okay i'm gonna go be problematic somewhere else See you later. Okay, so I took that off, uh, washed it off, and usually you can just like let the product sink into your face, but today I just wasn't feeling it because I have this other serum that I wanna put on my face, to be honest, which had like five stars on Sephora, so I tried it, and honestly, I put this on the other day, and my boyfriend was like, oh my God, your face looks amazing, you're like glowing. Like I said before my battery died once again, I've been using this serum by The Ordinary. I have no idea how to say the ingredients, but it makes Makes my skin glow and that's all that matters this is what i've been using i just I'm like i just use like a couple of drops now use like 
literally just so much just enough to coat my whole face and neck so i'm also gonna put on some moisturizer this one is by the drunk elephant it's the proteiny palabra i literally cannot say this either it is this this one is really awesome it kind of has the same consistency type feel as tatcha water cream but all of tatcha's products break me out so i like this because it's kind of like liquidy in the same way like the water cream is if you've ever used it but it doesn't break me out definitely gonna buy a full size of this like absolutely as soon as this is gone i've been like using it pretty sparingly it might not look like i'm being gentle but i promise i'm being pretty decently gentle okay next i use my electric tooth toothbrush this one is a philips sonicare one it was like 200 feet 300 dollars or something but um it was on sale when i got it and it's probably one of the best purchases i've ever made in my life <laughs> to be honest this is literally like going to the dentist and getting your teeth professionally cleaned so absolutely love this i'm gonna brush my teeth you guys know what that looks like yeah I'm just gonna use this little eye cream by Tarte. Just a very little bit under my eyes. And I bring it onto like my eyelid. I just do it really gently. I know you're supposed to use your ring finger, but it's kind of hard for me to use my ring finger right now with the lashes on. So I'm just gonna very, 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 very lightly press with my pinky. Same thing. Now, last but certainly not least, I use the very highly talked about, highly rated Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I I swear this saved my lips from so many travels, so many things recently. Usually I have really bad dry lips, but recently they've been so beautiful. And I honestly think it's all because of this stuff. This stuff is incredible. It's like 20 bucks, but like this is gonna last you forever. Like I've had it months and I haven't really made a dent at all. It's amazing. It also smells like bubble gum like fruity candy it's it's just the best ever i didn't love it at first but i learned to love it like i love it so much i think because it works so good i'm like oh my god you smell amazing okay you guys so i'm gonna go make my little collagen sleepy time tea um and then probably just sip it until i pass out honestly lately i have been falling asleep really really early and it's already almost midnight so i'm tired but i hope you guys liked my little skincare routine hopefully you learned a few things from it especially if you have oily skin i hope this helps you but once again if you guys want any of these products all of them will be linked down below in the description for you all of my social media will be linked down below in the description for you guys as always i love you guys so much and i will see you in the next video